the uh, Constitution Ride Across America. We're stopping here today in Concord, New Hampshire, and uh, we'll have two rallies today. We'll leave this one and go on up to Augusta, Maine. But we're looking for a great uh, rally today in the uh, uh, Concord uh, State House here in New Hampshire. I love it. Cause is to bring awareness to the Constitution and, and how it's being destroyed in our nation today. How our government is stepping on us as citizens and not allowing us to. Uh, yeah, to be the have the freedom that we deserve to have as a nation. We're founded on freedom, and that's what we were fighting for. Well, I wanted to come shake this man's hand and uh, give him a small part, bit of moral support. Say thanks to this guy for showing some leadership. Whether there's ten of us or ten thousand, it's the right thing to do. Uh, I'm excited, excited to be here, excited to see so many people show up. I uh, really appreciate it. We're glad to have Darren show up, show up safely. Uh, yesterday he hit in his Boston, Connecticut, Rhode Island, had great events at all of them. Uh, he's leaving from here and going up to Augusta, Maine to continue, continue his trek all around the country in support of the Constitution. You know, for freedom to remain the song that's in the hearts of Americans, the Constitution has to remain the lyrics of liberty. And it's things like what Darren's doing today, where he dropped everything and set his life on the side to drive around the country for a few months, going to rallies, whether nobody shows up, like in New Jersey, or here today, where we have a great crowd, and he's on to Maine later this afternoon. Uh, I just encourage you all to keep doing that and keep your Darren in your prayers as he makes this journey. <laughs> Live free! Work out. Death is not the worst of evil. Thanks, I appreciate everybody being here today. It's uh, nice to be in Concord, New Hampshire, that's for sure. It's a beautiful, beautiful little place on the world. Dot of the map, right? It was a great ride up from Boston this morning and uh, the temperature was just perfect for as far as ride. If you love to ride, you, you gotta enjoy it a morning like today. But we're here for a Constitution rally. And today I've, I've come to New Hampshire on the eighth stop of the Constitution Ride Across America. One, to make sure that our state legislators all across this nation know that we're watching, that we're paying attention all throughout, and to have one state legislator to, to accept a copy of the Constitution because they believe in it and they will stand by it. And then also I'll bring with me a Constitution Resolution for America. This Constitution Resolution for America is one document going to be signed by at least 48 states. We may be short of those, a couple of those 48, but that's the intent of this, this ride, is to get that document signed. And then in every state across our nation, we will have someone from every state that believes in the Constitution. And that person, that one legislator, is held accountable to hold all the other colleagues in that legislative body accountable and to bring them out on the carpet when it's time, when they, when they start doing things against the Constitution. So I appreciate all y'all that, that have come today, and at this time, I want to ask Jim Coffey, Representative Jim Coffey, to come. And today what we're going to do is we're going to present her with a piece of paper, okay? That's all it is. It's just a piece of paper. It's all pretty. It's got a nice ribbon on it, wrapped in plastic, but it's not the paper. It's not about the paper. The first three words of the Constitution are what? We the people. That's the three most important words of the Constitution. And as we present this Constitution to Jen today, 
just want you to know that everybody's watching you. They're paying attention. They're going to hold you accountable. And this one piece of paper is not about what we're here for today. It's about the words that are on it. So stand tight to it. We ask that you uphold the Constitution. And in accepting this, you agree to do that. And at this time, we're going to also ask you to sign the resolution, Constitution Resolution for America. And in doing so, first of all, I'd like for you to read it to the citizens. And I'll hold it out for you because it would be hard for you to do both. Constitution Resolution for America. Whereas we, the people of the United States of America, are the most gracious and generous in the world, and God has seen fit to bestow many blessings on us. Whereas, in its time of need, this great country will need patriots to rally around the Constitution and restore our Founders' vision of natural rights and limited government. Whereas Paul Revere's midnight ride of April 18, 1775, alerted Americans to awaken from their slumber and prepare for the approach of danger. Therefore, be it resolved that we, the undersigned, agree to uphold the United States Constitution, to speak out when it is being degraded or abused, and to carry forward with our lives, fortune, and sacred honor the principles and values of our founding documents. Penned in the year of our Lord, 2010. Thank you, Representative Jen Coffey. Give her a hand. Give her a, give her a big hand. Thomas Jefferson uh, said this. He said, uh, all tyranny needs to gain a foothold is for good people of good conscience to remain silent. Are you willing to stand forth as a, as a body of people here in New Hampshire and no longer remain silent? That's your call. In order to keep Jen accountable, you have to speak up. In order to keep Dan accountable, you have to speak up. They need your support because they're in there fighting for you. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. I'm blown away by what Darren is doing. I just think it's amazing that he's driving all across our nation. I hope and pray, really pray, that people get it, that people we're going to be willing to stand up next to him and help him defend our rights. He can't do it by himself, but he sure can with a nation full of Americans. Well, New Hampshire's a, a great city, a great state, and Concord is a great city, and I appreciate everybody that came out today to uh, welcome me here and to listen to not only the candidates that spoke, but to listen to a little bit of what I had to say. And again, I just want to say that you know I'm just one person just trying to make a difference and you know I ask that all the citizens in New Hampshire to do the same just try to make a difference and we can change our nation thank you and good Appreciate luck it. thank you and don't feel so bad about New Jersey I mean what you expect I, hey, really the Constitution wasn't signed by everybody so I, it doesn't hurt my feelings one bit that somebody doesn't feel that strongly about it to sign it that's okay with me I'm happy because when that whole document is done and those names are missing they had their chance Right. Right safe. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.